Citizens of Ukraine staying strong as they are torn apart from their families. Joining us now is Sergei Sozniak, who was separated from his family in Kyiv, Ukraine. And uh, Sergei joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Um, it's our understanding, Sergei, that you um, had to leave and you were able to get out with your family um, out of Kyiv, but that your, your parents are still there. Is that correct? Hi there, guys. Uh, yes, I'm uh, I'm outside of Kyiv right now with my family, with my wife and two kids, and uh, my parents are uh, back in Kyiv. Uh, I mean, not back in Kyiv. They are just uh, they are just uh, staying there. Uh, and uh, comparing to comparing to most of the people in Ukraine, uh, I'm in a very good position here because it's pretty quiet here. We just spent here probably a couple of hours in the bombshell, uh, but the situation is way worse uh, in the other cities. Uh, I think the worst situation is in Kyiv, Kharkiv, uh, on the south of Ukraine, uh, Kherson, Nikolaev, uh, Mariupol. Uh, some cities, I think, on the eastern border, they are completely ruined. So, Sergey, where exactly are you now, and how difficult? Describe for us what it was like for you to get there. Uh, uh, actually, in the first uh, in the first day, it was uh, uh, it was uh, quite uh, qu relatively okay uh, to move. Uh, out of Kyiv in uh, this direction because I was uh, moving in the south direction. Uh, so for how I, I can actually <clears throat> tell how it started. On the night from Wednesday to Thursday, my wife woke me up, I think at 4 a.m. or something like that, and she just told that she heard some explodes. Uh, then we turned on the news, and then uh, uh, we've seen uh, uh, what people in the East were experiencing since 2014. Uh, that uh, our beautiful city, our hometown Kyiv, uh, uh, was uh, bombed, as uh, with many many other cities and towns all over Ukraine. Uh, so we decided. So we packed a couple of bags uh, and uh, moved uh, them in our car in the parking lot. Uh, and then, uh, actually, what I, what I what I also had to do on Thursday as well. My father, he just uh, he got some surgery, so I had to pick him up from the hospital and move him to his apartment. So I, move, I managed to move him there and then return back to my, to my wife. And then we were deciding uh, whether we should be in Kiev or should move. And we decided that we, uh, that we would move. My parents uh, refused uh, to move at that stage. Uh, so they decided uh, to stay at home. Uh, but we managed to move, and I think in a couple of hours we moved out of Kyiv, uh, but very close. I think probably like 10 to 15 kilometers to the south. We moved to our, one of our friend's house, uh, then stayed overnight. It was quite, uh, qu quite a bad night as well. Uh, but then the next day we decided to move even further uh, to the south of uh, Kyiv, and we are right now in a small village, 70 kilometers uh, uh, outside of Kyiv, uh, and, with uh, my wife and two kids. And your, and your kids, can you talk to us about having your kids there in a bomb shelter, and, and, and how are they doing? Uh, no, they're they are they are doing fine. Uh, they're doing fine. They actually, uh, uh, <laughs> my younger one, uh, he's a boy. He's uh, uh, one year and eight months. So he. Uh, he he just uh, doesn't understand. So for when he was hearing exploding, he's he was just saying bum bum, and uh, showing That's his incredible. hand like that. Uh, my daughter, uh, my daughter, she is uh, she is uh, she is actually fine. Uh, luckily, she didn't cry or, but she is understanding what is happening. We talk openly to her that there is a war that is happening in Ukraine. That. Uh, uh, if you if we ask you to do something, you need to follow instructions. You need to come with us strictly, timely. Uh, so uh, she's uh, she, she's uh, she's doing uh, she's doing quite well. She actually she's uh, drawing uh, all that uh, she's drawing uh, some things. For example, she was drawing Ukrainian helicopter with a flag of Ukraine. Uh, but she is. Uh, I, I would. Say, I would. I would say she. Uh, she is okay. But uh, we. We talk to her. We try to encourage her. We. We actually. We try to. <clears throat> to deal. To deal with kids. Like. Um, there is. Uh, 
there is a war that is happening, but we try to uh, uh, get them some uh, some good stuff to do. For example, uh, to do some homework, to play uh, to play some games. Uh, we actually we are staying here with uh, in my uh, friend's house, so he also has two kids, and uh, they also uh, spending time here. So, so for at least uh, kids uh, can uh, have some fun uh, between uh, each other. Sergey, I just want to ask you though, your parents still in Kiev, you've got to be concerned about them. How are they doing, and what is their plan? Uh, so <clears throat> uh, they don't uh, uh, they don't plan to move out of Kiev. Uh, so for they are moving uh, there basically every night they are moving to the bomb shell. Uh, of uh, luckily the bomb shell in is in their um, apartment building, so they don't need to walk. And especially uh, especially it's a little bit a challenge uh, for my father because he just a week ago he just broke his leg and he's. Uh, uh, he cannot move quickly, of course. So, uh, but uh, they are fine. Uh, they are smiling. They are cheering up, and uh, um, the at the atmosphere here is uh, very, very supportive uh, everywhere in uh, in each in each region for them in Kiev. Everyone is super supportive to each other. Well, so, Sergey, we are definitely thinking of your father right now, um, trying to recover from a broken leg. Uh, it's also my understanding that you are. Are trying to figure out ways to support the the Ukrainian military there and raise money for them. Yes, of course, I'm uh, doing that all the time. So, if uh, uh, if, uh, if any people can help, uh, please go ahead and uh, go to the LinkedIn and uh, find my profile. It's very simple, Serge Sosniak. It's prob probably if you just uh, write down uh, or uh, how I'm uh, how I'm uh, written uh, in English. Uh, so, f and uh, there is a couple of links uh, how to uh, the way to help, uh, how to donate to our army, how to donate to our people, because uh, this is uh, the most Im the, uh, the most important things uh, that uh, uh, can be really uh, helped uh, to us. Okay, and and uh, I'm to do some e informational campaigns as well. So for that's uh, that's uh, what I'm trying to do and uh, help uh, all Ukrainian people here. And Sergey, we well, we have your name up there. People can see if they want to do the search. Um, we wish you all the best and that of your family and the people of Ukraine. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Yes, yeah, so Sergey, thank you. And if, if I could just in the last 15 seconds, Sergey, what would you like to say? What message would you like to share with President Biden? Slava Ukraini. Uh, we we definitely we definitely gonna win this fight. All right. Sergey, Sergey Sosniak, please stay safe. We wish your father very well. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.